muted myself. Oh, it also didn't do the countdown. Hello everyone. Hello, good morning, good afternoon actually. Technically we're really late today. <laughs> Got caught up in a discussion. Um, we haven't been live now for maybe a week actually. A week? <laughs> and given all the lives we did lately, we plan to keep doing them. We'll probably try and do them once a week. Yeah. Um, anyway, so today's topic yeah, is um, self-care. Yeah, self-care. Self-care. What, what is. actually is self-care mm. underneath the, the kind of surface of what we yeah. think it is. Yeah. And when is self-care not really self-care? <laughs> which I had this little aha this morning, this little bing in the shower, um, which sparked our whole live topic today. Um, so self-care is such an important topic for mothers because we're often giving, 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 we're always putting out. We don't really have the opportunity a lot of the time to knock off work <laughs> and relax like we're marathon runners. And so how do we create sustainability in motherhood? How do we create that sustainability that we need to actually be giving at the level and the quality that we are demanding of ourselves. And so self-care is a really valid topic, yeah? Mm. Um, but there's lots of surfacey stuff about self-care which kind of misses the mark, which leads us astray. And then we feel guilty that we've taken me time or self-care time and we don't feel any better and we still are grumbling and feeling empty and we're wondering what's going on and we're just really selfish. <laughs> yeah. So let's really talk about self-care. Yeah, and the two the two main things that we wanted to bring to your awareness and have you think about in terms of self-care. One is... Hello to everyone joining. Say hello. Yeah, yeah let us know who you are. Yeah. We can just see that there's people. Um, one of them is... Self-care is not really self-care when it's something that you're shooting on yourself. I should go to yoga. Yeah. I should do this. I should do that. And the other is self-care is not actually about what you do. It's about how you're doing it. It's about the energy and the awareness and the presence that you're bringing to it. Mm. So maybe we can talk mm. about one and then the other. And they're very interconnected. But. Yeah. Yeah. Um, oh no, there's so many places we could go with self-care. I'm <laughs> trying to keep it short. Self-care is a whole masterclass on self-care. Mm. Maybe we should do that sometime. Maybe we should <laughs> think about that. Um, okay, so well, I'll tell my morning inside yeah, in the shower that. story, which is what sparked us thinking, oh, let's talk about that today because we didn't know what we were going to talk about. So I coached this morning a client and then it was a long session and I was running late. And Kaya was due to be here in 10 minutes and I was still in my pajamas actually and we were going to be doing a live. I was like, ah, quick, run, run, run. And I was crazy running around trying to get everything done. And I jumped in the shower and I have been really revisiting my self-care lately. And so it was really present in my mind that, and I've been great for the last few days. I've had lots of space. <laughs> been like, oh, that's right in the shower. I was going to do all this stuff, and I was going to do this, and I was going to do this. And I was going to do. I rush it in? Do I like quickly try and get all that stuff done and run even later and be rushing and in the name of self care? And I realized there's a voice popped into my head and said, that's not really self care. <laughs> I am actually doing the opposite. I'm actually creating more stress for myself. Even though those acts of self-care that I identified as really important to me often feel super nourishing and loving and are self-care, in that instance, that was not self-care. To just try and cram them in. I haven't got much time. Quick, I've got to do them. I said I'd do them. It's my self-care. I've got to do them. <laughs> Meanwhile, creating extra stress and worry for myself. And that's not the most loving act. And when this is a really important piece here, when you think self-care, the, the goal of self-care, the broader piece of this is to be loving towards yourself. Yeah, This is what will truly top you up. So you can put any self-care practice on the top of anything, and I'm spilling into your point, Kaya. It's okay. Anything on top of it, your yoga, your dance, your bushwork, your gardening, whatever it is, it doesn't matter. 
If it feels loving to you to do that, if this is an act of self-love, then you're on track, then you're in self-care land. If this is shooting, like it's another thing to tick off, that's not self-care. That is not going to fulfill you, it's not going to top you up, that is not going to help you regain balance or feel more spacious or any of those things. The gist of it is that you're becoming from a place of self-love. Mm -hmm. Self-love will actually supersede self-care. If you go to self-love, you'll build in self-care as a byproduct of self-love. And it might actually mean that sometimes not doing all those things, like Lisa discovered this <laughs> morning, not doing those things that um, your mind has, has boxed in as being the things you do for self-care is the most self-loving and self-caring thing in that moment. Yeah. To do less. Yeah, in fact, sometimes doing less is supreme self-care, <laughs> especially for those of us who are super busy. Yeah. So that's a really, really important piece that we want to bring to this. So if you were to look at self-care in your life, and we have this discussion a lot. So many mothers bring self-care to us because it's a really important ongoing issue. <laughs> there is always a place for it, for sure. Mm -hmm. And when we teach self-care, we teach a couple models of self-care. We teach sacred recharge and in the moment self-care, the two models that we look at. Um, either one of those models, and if people are interested we can talk about it, but either one of those models needs to have, does this feel loving to me? What is the most loving thing I could do for myself right now as your greatest act of self-care? And sure, you may have rituals in place, like sure, your yoga, uh, with, if, it's, if you come with the right intention, to that practice will be incredibly self-loving and will really top up your self-care. You will go, oh, yes, that's what I needed. But if you come to that yoga with a with a sense of, I should, I've got to get done, it will make me feel better and I have to squash it in. If I squash it in here quickly between this and it feels stress to you and it feels like an obligation and a responsibility, that's not self-care. That's just mm -hmm. shooting on yourself and adding another to-do item onto the list and it won't top you up and fulfill you in the way you're hoping. At most it might give you a teeny band-aid but it, it will often just feel like an extra stress in the day. It will and also it, it's actually pointless like it, it mm. it's, it's just filling your life up with things that aren't, that aren't rich, aren't fulfilling, aren't meaningful. I, a fair, fair few years ago I had like a one of those big ahas that stay with you for a while in a in a yoga workshop I was in where the teacher we were going through a process in the yoga workshop and she pointed out she said that if you're doing this without fully being in your body and without like loving doing it and without it being like like an act of self-love and without the presence that that it asks of you then there's really absolutely no point in you doing it and it's ac it's actually not like because we're su such interconnected beings it's actually not going to help you even just on a physical level so much like mm. if you're if you're doing yoga but you're kind of your your mind's out of it and you're thinking about something else and you're not you're not fully in it. You're just kind of going through the rote exercise. You're not getting what you're you need from yoga. Yeah. Or it's the same with you're everything You're critiquing else. yourself in mm. the yoga class. Yeah. Oh, I'm not doing it as well as I could be, and everyone else is more flexible. Or look, uh, <laughs> like all those places you can go. Yeah. That's not self care. Which yeah. Totally. Yeah. So self care is a really internal act of self love. Whatever you put on top, whether you do sacred recharge, which is what we would probably call yoga, or whether you do in the moment self-care, which means you just bring yourself into the moment. What do I need? What would I really love right now? Oh, I should put on that music that I love, or <laughs> I should go make myself a cup of tea. There's lots of different ways you can handle your self-care, but underneath all of that, that, that has to be the most important thing. Mm is what, what is the intention? How are you coming to this? How are you being with this experience? And how present to it are you? Yeah. And it's the same as moments of connection with our children. 
we talk about this too when you talk about connection dynamic and attachment dynamic. Um, <clears throat> You, like sometimes mothers come to us and go, oh, my child's never filled up, their cup's never full, they're always wanting more, always wanting more, always wanting more. You can do masses of quantity, but if you really come to it with presence and with the right intention, it's the quality that really matters. And it's the same with your self-care. Mm -hmm. It's really the same with your self-care for sure. So does it feel really loving to you in this moment? Not usually yoga feels really loving to me <laughs> but in this moment does that really feel like an act of self-love because if it's not self-loving if it's creating more stress if you're shooting on yourself if you just want to get it ticked off if you're somehow berating yourself in the experience of it it's not self-care mm -hmm. now hello to everyone who's joining <laughs> which means that those moments of sacred recharge, which is one of the forms of self-care we talk about, sacred recharge is less in the moment. It's more like a larger chunk it of time. Takes some time to sort of retreat. Yeah, <laughs> yep. like like going and doing a session of yoga or going and getting a massage or whatever. And it's the it smaller side of self-care, by the way. Yeah. It's only about twenty percent. Yeah, and which which means that those times of sacred recharge. They, they could potentially, you might discover that you need them very little. Yeah. Like you may, you may be, and it's okay if you do feel like, yes, I really want to do yoga every day. That's completely valid too. But you might discover that if, if you approach it from this place of a self-loving act where you're fully in it, you're experiencing it, you're present to it, you're connected to your intention for it, and it's you're you're getting the most that you can from it mm. then you might discover that you don't actually like that one one time in the week could actually be way more beneficial and way more powerful and affect you even more than like mm. five sessions where you're kind of just ticking it off and getting it done yeah yeah, yeah. And so often I actually see the women that struggle the most with self-care, even though they're carving it out for themselves, are the women who have a lot of trouble with self-love. Yes. Because they turn their self-care into a beat myself up ritual. Um, mm. That's not self-care, guys. It's really not. And work towards what is the most loving thing. If you need self-care, tune in in the moment. It is great to have ritual in place and I do. Like I said, I just recently went through and sat down and said, okay, I really want to put in place some very specific things that are very honoring of my body and my health and other things that are up for me at the moment. So it's okay to think those through and have them in your head, but in the moment, if it's not bringing you a sense of self-love, if you're not there in a place of real love for yourself, then you're missing the mark and what would be really loving for yourself and it might be stop go lie down on the couch or it might be something completely different and that is a better act of self-care mm. yes and one step further from that is when you tune in to what's the most loving thing for, for you to do then when you're doing it practice fully experiencing it yeah. fully receiving it fully feeling the love that you're giving to yourself like if, if it's drinking water make that act of drinking water a ritual of self-love like go a little go a little further in mm. the things that come up as yourself love because then they become even more rich you bring so much more yeah. meaning to them when you bring that intention with you yes. instead of just doing the surface act without the intention and the energy yeah. with it. Yeah. It's sort of the same as multitasking, isn't mm. it, in a way. Just be present and fully dedicated to the moment. It might be a single moment. It might be just a couple seconds. <laughs> yeah. But really bring that as this is an act of self-love um, because that is what will underpin your self-care, mm. truly, and make it meaningful. Hi, Heather, Heather. honey. It's so nice to see you. Yeah. Mm, it's me. I find asking that question, how can I show myself love at this moment, is the key to my self-care. Yeah. Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. And that's 
whole message of our life. Woohoo! I don't know. I think that's our life. I think that's it. Yeah. Does anyone have anything they want to share, or a question they want to ask, or an issue they'd like to explore? Oh, we miss you too, Heather. We're just saying we're going to come on here once a week and do that and do a live of some form. <laughs> but you're always welcome to reach out to us, beautiful. Yes. Okay. And that's I don't think there's any other questions. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for checking out the live. If you want more, maybe subscribe to our videos. You'll see um, in the top right corner of your video, dot, 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 usually. And then you can drop down and get live notifications. They'll let you know when we go live. Even if it just comes up afterwards and said we went live, you can check us out. Or periodically visit our page. Does anyone ever do that? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> don't know. But we're going to be around. So I think that's it for today. Yes, it is. Okay. Enjoy those moments of rich self-love and self-care. Yes. Really be in them. Yes. And if you want to share, like message us or something, a moment of self-care, self-love, that would be awesome. Oh, you're so welcome, honey. Love the timing. <laughs> oh, beautiful. It's a pleasure. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.